Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology Channel. And if you are on Windows 11 22H2, you now have the uh, preview update for the bug fixes that are released uh, or towards the end of the month. Starting next month, it's always going to be on the fourth week of every month. So starting April, uh, we're going to have a better idea when they get out. So for Windows 10, 21H2, 22H2, those were already released. If you're on Windows 11, 22H2, now you have the bug fixing updates. Um, they are optional, so they're not automatically installed. And of course, they will be installed automatically with Patch Tuesday coming up in April. If you look at your uh, Windows updates, um, so you'll see it optional there if you install it. You will see, or if you don't, but you look at the updates, uh, you'll see that it comes in the form of KB5023778. And it is the Camilov Update Preview for Windows 11 22H2. So this has a number of changes, including changes on the search box in the taskbar. Um, there is also uh, fixes for the notepad. Uh, where there's an issue with uh, notepad combo box and settings. Uh, there's, of course, a lot of fixes and improvements that have to do with problems that had to do with um, the um, FIDO2 pin credential icons. Uh, Cluster shared volumes have problems. There's been some remote procedure call service uh, issues that uh, can happen. Um, in some of the other things, there are a couple of um, things that are fixed that depend on versions, uh, depending on where you live. They updated a group policy, um, a, a, an update that actually affects the group policy editor and the TLS 1.3. Um, there is an issue that affects Microsoft HTML application host. What else do we have? Update addresses issue that affects the Windows remote management client um, anything else that is uh, particular to when you look at it so this contains a certain number of fixes of course um, that are in Windows 11 22h2 so if you have some issues you can actually install it um, nothing that is what I can you know I either hear or, or see from um, people having issues uh, seems to be a lot of under the hood fixes here uh, mostly. Once you've installed it, and it was uh, installed very quickly on my machine here, and once you've installed it, if you look at the Windver command, you'll be at 22621.1485. 22621.1485. This is where you should be now with um, the uh, Windows 11 22H2. If you um, install this, of course, uh, so this is something that uh, is now available. And uh, on the uh, dark side, um, it apparently adds promotion or promotions to the start menu, which is something that um, uh, we talked about a lot, but um, there's apparently some uh, little promotions that uh, are in there for the start menu. If I look at my start menu, I don't see anything particular. Yeah, recommended here Outlook. There's kind of some promotion maybe going on uh, for sure. So uh, there might be these little things like that, uh, which is sad. I always say that there shouldn't be such a thing within Windows. So um, if you have problems, you can try to install it. If you don't have any issues, ignore it. It will install anyways with the Patch Tuesday updates coming up in April. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe. Give us a thumbs up. Thank you for watching.